All right, what's going on? I'm gonna talk about how and why it's important, um, your brand name, why it's important, and uh, why you should really care about what it is and making it different to stand out, how it can benefit your company in the long run and the short term, how it can save you a ton of money in marketing. If your brand name is good enough and it grabs people's attention where they remember it for life, um, that's, that's what you wanna create. Your marketing dollars, the cost to market your business is gonna go way down because the name sells itself and it, it tells people in two seconds what you are and, um, and it's, it's gotta be such a, a name where they remember it for life in two seconds. So if they were just driving by your car, they would understand what you do and, and they would get the message right away. And you wanna, you wanna twist it in a way where it grabs their attention so it's like an automated marketing machine. So um, that, that a huge benefit is to save you a ton of money and you'll be able to make the news, the radio, all that stuff is for free. You wanna create such a good brand name that the, the news is gonna call you, okay? You don't need to call them. So again, that's gonna save you marketing dollars. It's like super expensive to get on the radio. Let's say it's like $5,000 for like, you know, five to 10 minutes. Um, and it, it's very expensive or on TV, radio, the newspaper. So you, you kind of want to create a name where they either love it or they hate you because that, that creates controversy. So, uh, controversy. so um, that's the extreme you want. And, and you want to basically look at your, whoever is like the number one in your, co in your business or whatever, your competition, who's the, who's the top dog and then and then look at like the second top dog and, and try to figure out what they're not doing, you know, as far as like branding and figure out kind of what they're all talking about. What are they trying to, what are they all trying to do? Like, what are they all pushing towards? And then you just gotta remember that, you know, funny sells, sex sells, being smart sells, and then um, the, like those big three things, money, funny, and sex and um, so and being really really smart so you just kind of you kind of want to put that in your brand in a sense of way when you're when you're thinking about it so here's an example so I looked at um, you know when I thought of shirtless movers okay um, I looked at the top dog company which was two men in a truck Super professional, that's all they're about. It's super professional and their name says it all. When you think of a moving company, you're like, gosh, I just need two men in a truck. And you already say their brand name right there. Good name, good branding, right? So, I mean, it's a little bit big. I mean, I always recommend if you're thinking about a brand name, keep it within two words max. If you have to do three, it better be dang good. And it better be like a keyword that gets searches. I show, I explain to you how to search for keywords in our program for businesses or services, um, for businesses or services and product businesses, that's kind of like our, our deal. Um, but, um, you know, that that is a key word, two men in a truck. People do search that, they think it, so it's got a lot of good benefits. Um, now, uh, and another thing about branding is you wanna create your own path, okay? You don't wanna follow other people. You wanna be so different that you create your own path so you're number one right away. So like if there's any other shirtless moving company out there, shirtlessmovers.com is always gonna be number one in the search engine no matter what because it's a domain. So if people think and start copying us or start adding that to their business, um, it's, it, we're already gonna dominate it. So um, that's another little thing. But the biggest thing was you look at the, who's the top dog, so it'd be two minute chalk. Then you look at the second top dog, which was like college hunks hauling junk. So college hunks was trying to pitch in a little bit of sexiness because they're college hunks hauling junk. So what I did was I just took, and then there was another company in California called Meathead Movers, but they weren't very big. So they're only, I believe they're only in California. So I looked at a smaller company, looked at a super big company that's franchised, that has franchises, another super big company, looked at all three of them and I came up with what are they not doing and what are they trying to do? Like, what do they have in common? 
you know, because I had no experience with moving, none, zero, zip up, right? So, and I, I always, I always wanted to create an automated, automated marketing machine. So I want the media to call me, you know, I want the, the radio to call us. So you just gotta have that mindset and you, you're gonna attract the way, you're gonna think of a way, a brand name that's gonna c- create that. So um, I was like, well, uh, how can we get a little bit of college honks, but a little bit of two men in a truck? And I was like, then that's how I thought of shirtless movers and I made it up to the customer to choose if they could choose shirts on or off. So if they wanna have fun and create a cool fun experience, since I knew women would be our tar- one of our target market, women always like to have fun. So um, I kind of added that in there with the whole branding and then um, fun moving experience. And then, uh, and but it, people can have shirts on too. So they can just, we have like Under Armour material type shirts. So it, 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 we can do professional clients as well. So we got that fun excitement, coolness, and we got that professionalism mixed in one. So, and it's two words, shirlessmovers.com. So that's how I thought of it as an example. And, now, I'm not just spitting dust here. Like, I mean, we have the New York Times wants to fly down and videotape us from millions of people for free, get us on TV. Um, and, you know, we were on, uh, we had one radio person, you know, I had graphics on my car and he like took pictures and he posted on his Instagram. And then, then I, we got like tons of views from that. Just being on this radio guys, uh, it was like a women's talk radio. And then, then a big local company, 93X, called um, us up and wanted us on the show for, you know, they were not gonna, they're not gonna uh, charge us. And and that was all free. And that was, that was a really good exposure just because of our, our uniqueness of, how, of what we do. You know, we're the only company that does this officially. And, and that's what you want. You wanna create your own path. And so, um, and do things differently. And, and that's why branding, why why branding is so important. You know, keep it simple. Um, keep it simple, stupid. You know, and you know, if you can get one word, great. You know, that's awesome. It's very expensive to do that, like domain name stuff. But two words is fantastic. Um, like shirtlessmovers.com. I had to buy it from somebody, a, pri- a private person. I go over how to negotiate for domain names, like really good tactics, and how to find the actual owners of the domain names in our classes. And um, it's very, and there's more of that though. You have to also make sure it's, it's the trademark is clear. Cause if someone else has, owns a trademark for your domain name, they could sue you and send you a cease and dismiss. And then you'd have to, they would, you'd have to take your site down. I've had a friend go through that. So I explain all that and I show you how to check all that in our classes. So that could save you a ton of money. I just, I mean, just imagine if you had to change your whole brand name because somebody in like California was suing you and you're in Minnesota because of a trademark um, infringement. So I show you exactly how to check for that. And um, what else can I talk about branding? Some easy examples too of why this is what you want. Um, I've had uh, another, uh, with Shirtless Movers, when we just started, when you started the company, I mean, it, people were taking pictures of our, our truck. When you saw our truck, you would, you would stop what you're doing and you'd remember it for life. And you take a picture of it. First thing you do is whip your phone out, take a picture and put it on Instagram or Facebook. I mean, with my, we had a roommate, a, a, one of my roommates, um, he was checking his Facebook feed and he saw a picture within like three weeks of us launching our site. He saw a picture of our truck um, within like the, a month. He saw a picture on his Facebook feed of our truck, um, on his Facebook feed, just randomly, someone saw it and posted it. It was like, hey, look at this crazy, unique company, you know? So it was an automated marketing machine. And then, all right, uh, here's another example. There's, there's a ton of examples. And um, we weren't even really pushing Facebook at all. You know, we were just doing Craigslist when we first started. And another cool example is, at the end, this one move job, this customer posted a picture of of Nico and I with our shirts off after a move job, she was really happy. And um, we posted it, she posted on her Facebook, within 30 seconds, somebody called our 1-800 number to book a job because they saw a picture of us on Facebook. So when stuff like that happens, and that's all free, um, then you know you're on the right track. That is the brand name that you want. When you have people all over the country wanting to meet up with you, they call you, 
um, or they're like want a franchise or whatever. You're, that is the brand name that you want. You're on the right track. That's what you. That's what you want. Um, I can't stress that enough. It, it's uh, um, it's definitely worth it to really concentrate on an awesome brand name. If you want any more advice how to create one, um, take our class. If you have a product, business, or service, uh, conceptcreator.com. Um, and you'll learn all that stuff, how it's important, how you can think of names, and do your research and everything. Um, or you can just call us and I can just help you out. So um, again, that's conceptcreator.com. Hope this video helps and definitely branding is super, super important.